YouTube can get very, very lonely. We plan a video by ourselves, we edit the video by ourselves, and then we watch the video by ourselves. But we don't have to be lonely because collaborating with other creators is a lot of fun and it has in fact changed some creators' lives. Countless creators have successfully shared their audiences with each other by appearing in each other's videos, which in turn has led to more views, more subscribers, and most importantly, more fun. In this video, I want to share some tools that will help you pull off the perfect collaboration with your favorite creators. So the first question is, where do you find people to collaborate with? And the answer is actually way simpler than you might think. Start with your immediate circle of creator friends. If we're talking about YouTube, go look at what they're doing. Look at their channel, look at their content, look at their audience and ask yourself, what is a great idea that both of our audiences will absolutely love? This is absolutely critical. And obviously if you're already friends, this process is going to be a lot easier. I personally really like to collaborate with friends because I feel like it's just the most natural way to collaborate and the vibe is right. But obviously you can also choose to collaborate with someone that you don't know just yet. If you want to collaborate with a fellow creator that you don't know personally yet, the same actually applies. Think about the value that you can bring them and you can bring their audience. Don't think about what you can gain from this collaboration. Think about what they can gain from this collaboration. You want to make it easy for them and you want to make it about them. Eric is a really great example of this because he did this perfectly. Even when he had a small YouTube channel, he was able to create opportunities for himself to collaborate with bigger creators by literally giving them content for their channels. For example, one thing that he did in order to collaborate with David Dobrik is he showed up to David Dobrik with a hundred David lookalikes, which sounds absolutely insane, but this actually worked really well because this is the exact content that David would like to feature in his own vlogs. So in this case, everybody won. So when you want to collaborate with someone, don't just DM them, hey, want to collab? Instead, you want to write them a thoughtful message and pitch them an idea that you think will work for the both of you. And then after a few days of waiting, you'll get this reply. Hey, Lila, I would love to collaborate with you. Only one issue. I'm actually a few countries away. Now you get all excited. So you check your bank account and you realize that you actually do not have the money to fly over and film this video. Check your wallet for some spare cash. You check the couch, but no luck. Now you could start an OnlyFans or take up some freelancing gigs or you can use the one tool that you're actually using right now the internet. Now that you've found someone to collaborate with and you have an idea, the next step is to plan this video together. Especially when working together, you want to make sure that you're on the same page. Something as simple as Google Docs is really great because it's an online tool that will help you write out your ideas, write the entire plan, make comments, and then also reply to those comments. And because it is an online tool, it is great because you'll always have the latest version, so there will be no confusion on who needs to film what and what you're actually going to do for this video. In my experience, and especially when you're doing long distance collaborations, it is really important to keep communicating with each other throughout the process. So don't just write the idea and the plan in Google Docs, but actually hop on a call with each other and um, instead of just texting each other, hello? Hey, yes, I am actually recording a video right now. What's up? Yeah, yeah, so for the podcast, um, I actually found an app, it's called Riverside. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to, yeah, I can finish this recording later and um, let me just send you a link so we can have a look. Okay, bye. Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? Hello? <laughs> there you are, I, I can see you now. Wow. How are you? I'm Welcome good, how about you? I'm good. Welcome to our online studio. Online studio? What what is this thing? Yeah, so this is this is what I what I just told you. This is Riverside and it's basically an online studio that we can use to record our podcasts. And the great thing is now we have a professional setup. So we are filming in 4K and everything is now also recorded in 4K. So we can use this on YouTube, we can use this on TikTok, Instagram, wherever we want. It's pretty cool. So how how do we how do we upload this once it's done and by the way like is it separate audio tracks or what is going on yeah so there are separate video tracks and separate audio tracks and if you look in the top corner right here it says that it's already uploading so this ah. is the great thing we are actually recording this in 4k locally but then at the same time it's also being uploaded to the cloud so once we're done one of us, whoever is the victim, whoever has to edit this, can just can just go and download all of the files and you're good to go. You can just edit it in Final Cut or Premiere or even just in Riverside if you want. That is good. But um, we're going to have to dive into the name of the podcast a little bit down the line because yes. I'm in a hurry right now. But 
This this looks very good. Right, right. Okay, I'm I'm excited. I'm gonna continue uh, filming now. Oh, you're already gone. Bye. <laughs> this is actually a great tool if you're into video podcast or if you want to do interviews or regular podcast. And this was actually a great example of how you can collaborate with each other. So Riverside, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, if you want to make a YouTube style video, then the most obvious way is to just film your part separately and then upload everything to a Dropbox or a Google Drive or whatever cloud service you're using. When I worked together with my friend Javier on a commercial for Adobe, this is exactly what we did because I'm in the Netherlands. And I'm in Austin, Texas, USA. Hi. But there's also another way, which is actually a little bit faster, and that is by using Frame.io's Camera to Cloud. Essentially, what this does is exactly what the name says that it does. When you're filming with your camera or in Filmic Pro on your phone, for example, you can choose to immediately send proxies to the Frame.io Cloud, which means that the other person who is collaborating on this Frame.io project with you has instant access to those files. So this is great if you want to automatically upload all of the files to the cloud, or if you want to upload them to the cloud so the other person can start editing right away. At the moment of this recording, you can use Camera to Cloud or C2C in Filmic Pro on your phone or with an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja 5. Now, in terms of editing, what's so great about this is that you can actually download the Frame.io plugin for free and you can use it in the major video editing programs like Premiere Pro, Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve. Now, if we go back to the commercial that Javier and I worked on together, we would film our separate parts and then we would take turns editing. So I would make the first draft and then he would go over it and then I would do the color grading and then he would do the sound design. In order to edit collaboratively, what we did is we used a team project in Premiere Pro because then you can just simply upload all of the changes and then the other person could download all of the changes. This is only one way of doing it. You can actually also choose to just share your project file with each other and just send it back and forth. One thing that is really important when it comes to editing collaboratively, you wanna make sure that all of the assets, all of the clips, all of the photos, all of the animations, everything that you're using you are also uploading that to the cloud so the other person can download it because the worst thing, the worst thing when it comes to editing is when your media is offline. And especially when there is a time difference, for example, between me and Javier, there is about like eight hours in between us. I do not want to have to wait eight hours for him to send me that one photo or that one animation that I needed in order to finish this edit. Javier actually made a great video over on his channel where he shares how to prepare such a collaborative project for sharing. So link will be in the description. So now that you have all of the tools, how do you make sure that you edit this video in such a way that it just becomes this epic collaboration? By watching this video right here. Again, thank you Riverside for sponsoring a portion of this video. And let us know in the comments what Peter and I should be calling our podcast.